Look, whoa, and you can't see that in little cars, okay? And it gets worse, look. This tire is what we call a may pop. May pop meaning that it may pop when you're driving, it might blow up. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how important it is for you to know the tire size on your vehicle and the DOT on the tires on your vehicle. Let me show you guys where you can find your DOT. Get a little closer, Mr. Cameraman. Okay, when you're looking at your tire, you're looking for DOT right here. 5024, that means this tire was manufactured on the 50th week of 2024. Why is that important to know, Dad? It's very important to know because a tire that's six years old, it's a tire that needs to be replaced. Dry rod it or all the way down to the wear bar. Speaking of wear bar, that's another thing when you talk about. See that little line right there? You see it right here too? You see it right here too. That, that is called the wear bar on your tire. When your tires are worn down to the wear bar, it's time to replace your tires. All right, so let me show you a good contrast that'll help you understand how this wear bar works. Check this out. This tire right here is practically new, and this is the wear bar that was illustrated earlier by my dad. Now, this is what it looks like once your tire is worn all the way down. That's that same wear bar right here that we got right here but the rest of the thread is now even with this wear bar. And I don't think you need a wear bar to know that this tire's cooked. Folks, don't drive around on crap like this. Even tractor tires have a DOT. Here's the DOT for this one. This tire was manufactured the 22nd week of 2015. Here we have a Ford F-150. And if you come around this way, I'm gonna show you where the tire size is on this truck. The tire size for this truck is 255.70.17. That's the original size. That's the wheels, the tires that came on this truck. Now, we have to keep this in mind when checking our tire size. If you bought a vehicle, used vehicle for example, some people put custom wheels on it. Now let's look at the tires on this truck. Let's look at the size on this truck. The size on this truck is 275, 55, 20. The wheels, the original wheels were changed to custom wheels. It does not have 17 inch tires anymore. It has 20 inch tires now. It's very important that when you check the tire size of your vehicle, you're gonna call the tire shop, you need some tires, make sure you check the size on the tires that you got on there and the placard. Right here, the size for this tire is 215, 55, 16. It means it goes on a 16 inch wheel. This, the 215, is gonna be how wide the tire is, and the 55 is gonna be how tall or how narrow your sidewall is. The bigger this number, the taller the tire, the smaller this number, the lower the tire. Something I've seen very commonly when I ask folks for their tire size, they'll give me this number, 215, and this number right here. Now I just finished talking about what these numbers mean. If I don't have this number right here, the 55, I don't know what tire size you have. Remember, this number right here determines how tall your tire is. If I guess, if you tell me 215, 16, and I guess, and I give you a 215, 65, let's say for example, and it's for a small car, that tire is gonna rub. So that's why it's extremely important that you give us the full tire size and that's what this is right here. 
This is gonna be your full tire size right here. 215, 55, 16. And my dad was talking about where to find your DOT. But I will briefly talk about this number right here. The number that comes after the tire size, 97H, that's your load rating. And the H is your speed rating. So the 97 is your load rating. That tells, that determines how much load that tire can take. So let's say, for example, you have a truck and that truck takes uh, a load rating of 108. You don't ever want to put a tire that's a load rating of 97 just to save a few bucks. Because guess what? That savings is going to turn into a disaster when your tire blows up because your load rating was wrong. Now that's typically up to the tire man to be, be sure that you're safe. But let me ask you, are you gonna put your hands, your life in the hands of a random tire man? I wouldn't. I, as the consumer, would do the research. Now, if you come here, we're gonna take care of you. But I do dare say that we're extraordinary here. We are not the ordinary, we are not a commonality. If we were, you wouldn't be watching us on YouTube. Unfortunately, we can't be everywhere you are. So that's why we're making these videos, to educate the consumer and make sure that they're not getting a raw deal. Now, I want to show you why it's very important to check the inside of your tire. Look at this tire right here. Look how nice it looks right here. Look at the thread, okay? Now, look at the inside. And this tire came to our shop like this. Look at the inside, look at the inside, look. Whoa, and you can't see that in little cars, okay? And it gets worse, look. This tire is what we call a may pop. May pop meaning that it may pop when you're driving. It might blow up when you're driving, and that's gonna cost you extra problems. It's gonna damage your vehicle, and also, you can also call it a, you may not go to work that day, or you may wake up flat in the morning. All right, now let me show you guys how to look at your wear bar on a vehicle that has the tire mounted. On a truck, it's really easy to see it because the truck's got a lot of fender gap here. But if you've got a small car, it's not so easy. So here's what you do. You're gonna fire the vehicle up and you're gonna turn that tire all the way to the left to take a look at your passenger side, I mean your driver's side. Now you can see your tire a lot better and you can see your wear bar. If you wanna look at the other side, you're gonna turn it the other way. And that's how you're gonna look at the wear bar on your tires, folks. No excuses for knowing what your tire looks like. This is also a good way to look at the inside of your tire to see if the inside of your tire is wearing improperly. This is the reason why it's very important to check it. This right here, why, what causes this? What causes the tire to wear like that? It's because when you're driving, your vehicle, your tire is riding like this at a slant and it wears the inside of the tire only. What that means is that your vehicle needs an alignment. Make sure that if you get, if you have your tires like this, when you buy your new tires, get your vehicle aligned. Thank you. We'd like to thank you for watching our video, but before I leave, I want to give a shout out to Mohammed from Erie, Pennsylvania who sent me some hats and a watch. Thank you, Mohammed. And I'd like to remind you also, if you like the video, give us a like, give us a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. That's right.